Hey everybody, Pookie TVX here. I'm gonna have to get through this as quick as I can. Um, I just made a video about this, and um, it went over 16 minutes, and they um, it cut it out, and just the video ain't even it ain't even in my um, phone anymore. I don't know what happened. It just cut it out when I was talking. But it was about the Michael Jackson leaving Neverland. So let's get into it quick. Okay, so. This is nothing more than a, 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 a um, this is nothing more than pulling his name deeper and deeper into bullshit. When the Michael Jackson shit first started a long time ago, I never believed it. I never believed it. No way in hell I ever would believe that. And I'm gonna bounce around, so just stick with me. So I never believed the Michael Jackson thing, okay, whatever, because I seen him do it to countless and countless enter entertainers that's of the African American male. Now, R. Kelly, yeah, he could have did that, but what they're doing to R. Kelly right now is double jeopardy. They're not giving him due process. They trying to fucking stick it to R. Kelly. That's all I can think of right now. They're trying to stick it to R. Kelly. Um, any Anybody that's famous, that's outside of their of they boundary of what they want you to do becomes attacked becomes trumped up situations they put on you from rape to to drugs to anything they will put on you to tear you down they build you up and tear you down and we can go over the list and list of people that this has happened to um when when it happened to tupac we all knew tupac ain't do no bullshit like that we knew that he was on he was out there telling everybody what what, what happened what was going on but he started talking too fucking much and you know what they got to do so, what they doing right here in this Michael Jackson, I want y'all to watch this documentary, man, what they gonna do, and just watch the evil, and watch, and watch how they, watch how they make it, watch how they make it look, watch how they make it look, they gonna make it look so fucking demonic and evil, it's fucking crazy, I already know they are, okay, so this is, and, and then watch the shit, that they, the tactics that they're using for this Michael Jackson, watch how this gonna play a role in the R. Kelly situation. All of a sudden, it's, a t it's two more tapes or three more tapes out with R. Kelly. Where was these tapes before? Why, after Surviving R. Kelly came out, all of a sudden, these tapes pop up out of nowhere? Who's been sitting on these tapes? Why have these tapes been, been suppressed this whole time, but now they're out? Why? In the hands of a white man. How? The white man now is representing Stormy Daniels. Come on, y'all. Come on. If y'all don't see this shit, man, it's clear as day, man. It's clear as day, man. They do this to all the famous people, man. Michael Jackson owned the fucking Beatles. Everybody knows that. He was doing his last This Is It. He was doing that that um, that tour, This Is It tour. And they, and they knew it. Because he didn't want no parts of the fucking industry no more. He was done. He was done. He called out, a long time ago, he called out um, Tony Matola, I believe is his name, and called him the devil. And said that make you sign your life away in blood. That's what he. That's what he said. They never forgot about that. They never forgot about that about Michael. They never forgot about it. So what they do? They tear your name to shit. I'm gonna name off some people that they tore to shit that wasn't that was too open and too outspoken and going against what they wanted. Cat Williams, DMX. Who else? Cat Williams, DMX, uh, Dave Chappelle, um, who else? Dave Chappelle. It was a, it was a, it's a lot of Martin Lawrence, um, and you see what they did to Martin. Martin wasn't just running in the street, fucking on drugs, talking about they trying to kill him. Come on, come on. And that was another person they tried to set up with rape, but they had Gina say that he raped her. Really? Really, this is what they do. This is how they they tried to get John Gotti countless and countless of times, and then he named himself the Teflon Don and got on type of um, covers of magazines, and they had to find out a way to bring this food down. So they throw the Rico at him and tax evasion. That's they that's they go to tactic, man. That's they go to tactic, rape fucking Rico and fucking tax evasion. That's their go-to shit. 
And a lot, a lot, a lot of people fell for these people's shit, man. They fell for it, man. This shit is not a fucking game. Watch how they demonize Michael Jackson in this fucking documentary. And just pick up on pieces that they do and watch how this is gonna play out in R. Kelly's situation. They gonna fucking railroad this nigga, man. And we know it. We know, he know it. He know it. This shit is fucking insane, man. This shit is not... Y'all, I'm telling y'all, man. Pay attention to this shit, man. Pay attention to it. This is how they bring down leaders. This is how they bring down the black male. They threw Dr. Martin Luther King off when they put that tape to, um, to his wife of him having sex with another woman. This is the type of tactics that these people use. And it's not a fucking game. Shout out to Big Facts Podcast, man. Y'all go tap into that um, Men 2 movement. I suggest y'all sign that Men 2, man, and just get this shit moving. Cause, because Bill Cosby is in jail. Let me say that one more time. And I don't think Bill Cosby is in jail. If they can take down Bill Cosby for some 30-year-old shit, what do you think they're going to do with um, R. Kelly or any other black man with power that speaks out about how they feel? They want to keep you in a certain box. And when you start talk, talking about you want to buy shit and own shit, that's when they knock your fucking character down. That's the first way they tear you down is by tearing your character down. Look at Cat Williams. Look at DMX. They was at the top of their game. But as soon as they go against the grain, y'all know the rest. Never for one second I believe that Michael Jackson shit. The thing about Michael Jackson is that he didn't have a childhood. He was trying to relive his childhood. That's all, man. That's all. And think about it, man. After all that he had gave in this fucking music industry, after all he have done, all the charitable shit he done, this man done gave millions upon millions upon millions to charities, man, and helping donated to six kids and helping kids and doing all this shit, man. He done all the good music and all this shit, man. He done put his fucking life out there, his fucking sweat and tears, his fucking. This man practiced every. When you outspoken, shit like this happens. They don't care how much you are or how powerful you are or how much the people love you. They will find a way to tear down your fucking character. Tupac Shakur. They tried to get him on rape. Martin, they got him on rape. Bill Cosby, they got him on rape. They tried to get Chris Brown on rape. And Chris Brown, you better watch out, brother. Be careful and don't do nothing out of pocket. Make sure you are fucking on point of your shit, man. Don't have no weird people around you. Nothing. Nothing, man. Nothing. Get get If you got to, get a goddamn body cam. Just think about it, y'all. Just watch this documentary. Watch how they demonize this man. Watch how they do it, man. Just the same way they did R. Kelly. And R. Kelly wasn't the only one that, that should be going down in that fucking situation. Fucking point blank. The mom of Aaliyah should be going down. Yeah, I said it. The mom of fucking Aaliyah should be going down. And that fucking uncle of Aaliyah's who fucking knew she was 14 and let her, let her fucking sign her name, sign her shit at 18. The fuck kind of shit is that? How do you fucking pimp out your fucking niece like that? Come on, man. It should... Come on, man. Don't get me wrong. I ain't protecting R. Kelly. No, no pedophilia shit. 
I'm not with none of that shit, man. If you do any shit like that, you should be under the fucking jail. But I do believe in a due process. And everybody should have a fair fucking trial. But no, they don't give you a fair trial. It's, they start to say it's um, innocent until proven guilty. Fuck no. It's guilty until you prove yourself fucking innocent. Facts. Facts. If it was innocent until proven guilty, then why we? Then why did they go to jail? Why is there a bail? If you're innocent, why are you sitting in jail and you have to bail out? This shit is not a fucking game, y'all. And I suggest y'all watch the documentary and pick and pull what you think is 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 how they do all the people that that all the black powerful people that come up, they bring them down. Now I'm gonna get out of here because it's the last one I video I made. They cut it off and they um, wiped my file. I don't even know where it fucking was. They they must have figured I was going too damn deep. So I'm gonna I ain't gonna go too deep on this one. But just use your your gut and common sense. Take the heart out of it. Use your gut and your common sense, and you will see. Y'all be blessed, man. I'm out.